In fact, more than 1,000 years ago, the aesthetic standard of porcelain in the global market was first defined by Fujian. Mizu Dekatsu, Japanese ceramic craftsman, has settled in Fujian for 18 years. What attracts him to settle down is a kind of porcelain originated in Fujian and popular in Japan. In Fujian, Tianmu porcelain is known as Jianzhan bowls and was first produced in Jianyang, Fujian. Instead of choosing the birthplace of Jianzhan bowls, but came to Dehua, Mizu Dekatsu believed that the hot porcelain making atmosphere here could give him more inspiration. Now, a batch of Jianzhan bowls is being fired. A slight deviation of furnace temperature may lead to failure of firing. However, the subtle temperature change can make the black glaze on the porcelain change in a myriad ways, forming an unpredictable shape. For this reason, every successful Jianzhan bowl can be regarded as a unique product. A thousand years ago, the porcelain made by Fujian porcelain makers still affects the Japanese pursuit of porcelain making skills. In the local museum, these white porcelain works are also regarded as the representative of Fujian porcelain export. In the Song and Yuan dynasties, Dehua's white porcelain, together with tea and silk as the main export commodities on the maritime Silk Road, constructed the world's most direct understanding of China. Among them, White porcelain is known as Oriental Art Treasure, which not only promotes the widespread of porcelain technology, but also promotes the cultural exchange between China and foreign countries. Up to now, Dehua white porcelain in the world still has the reputation of China white. Today, whether it is black or white porcelain, their design and production has always followed the most traditional way of production. This is the pride handed down from generation to generation by local porcelain makers, and it is also the understanding of made in China in this land. Hello, hello, my friend. Later, we also try our best uh, cooperation with you, yeah? On the new day, Zhang Pengfei will win another international order. For him, it won't go wrong to keep up with the world trend. Lingwangmen,我们到各个国家去学习,去考察他们的那边的文化。真正随着中国的发展跟进步,我认为说,去真正吸收更多的一些世界各地不同的文化,你才能适应整个生存的环境。往这条路,专业专注的一直走下去,
and move forward in inheritance.